Welcome to The Dagger, an NBA analysis series. Today, we're going to be talking about Yusuf Nurkic, aka the Bosnian Beast, the power forward for the Portland Trailblazers. Today, we're going to do a little film analysis on some offensive highlights for Nurkic. But before we get into it, if you guys appreciate this type of NBA content, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. This is a brand new channel, so every like and comment and subscription really helps a lot. Thanks, guys. All right, let's get into it. Is this the dagger? Joseph Nurkic is having a nice bounce back season after suffering some injury issues the last year. But specifically, what I wanted to talk about today was his post ups. Nurkic has been looking like an absolute beast in the post recently. So this season, he's been averaging 4.7 points per game from the post, which is actually third in the NBA. He's tied with Anthony Davis, and if you watch his game on both ends of the floor, you could definitely see some similarities in the play between both players. They both use their length at an elite level. And although AD is clearly the better player overall, I think it's fair to say that Yusuf's post game is actually a bit more polished than AD's. Now let's take a look at some examples of what I'm talking about here. Now we're going to have a Blazers versus Celtics game, and right here Nurkic is going to fake a screen, he's then going to slip into a post up. He's got this size advantage against Daniel Tice, and he's able to use both his size, his finesse, and his speed. Look at that rip through move right there, and Nurkic is able to take advantage finishes over Tice. Let's look at another example from this season. Nurkic here, gonna post up against a good defensive team in the Raptors. Now, if we look on the perimeter, we're gonna see Gary Trent Jr. is wide open, so theoretically Nurk could hit him there. But he is undeterred by the double team. He's got two defenders on him. Doesn't matter, he uses his length and his quickness in the post, and he's able to finish with a tough step-through shot. And one more highlight here just to show you that Nurkic is not just about power and speed, but he's also about finesse. So he catches the ball here, gonna plant that right foot forward and look at the footwork. Spin move here on Valence Eunice, and that's a good contest. The hand is up right in his face, but Nurkic gets the contact and the finish. The Bosnian beast, Yusuf Nurkic with the N1, and the Blazers are really lucky to have this guy. So we can see from those highlights that Nurkic is adept at scoring from the post, but one thing I want to see some improvement on is his passing from that post area. Nurk is a good passer in general, but I was surprised to learn that from the post, his assist percentage is only 4.3%, which is low. And I think that what Terry Stotts needs to do to kind of open up the floor a little bit and open up the Blazers offense is to go to that split action a little bit more often. For those of you who don't remember, the Warriors use this action with great success and it involves posting up a guy and then off ball screens around the perimeter to free up three pointers. And this works on multiple levels. It gets your postman in good position and it gets your guards in good position for open threes. Now when you consider the elite shooters that Nurkic has around him in Dame and McCollum, not to mention the emerging Gary Trent Jr. and guys like that, and how good of a post threat he is. That makes all the sense in the world to me. Um, I think it would really open up their offense. I think that they're kind of underutilizing Nurkic a little bit. And, you know, they might be trying to use the training wheels with him a little bit coming back from injury. But let me know what you guys think. Are you impressed with how Nurkic has been playing recently? What do you want to see from him in the future? And just let me know what you think about him in general in the comments section below. I do read all comments. Let me know what you want me to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.